Hello again, aunties and uncles. Here we are again. I'm going to do some breakfast. So if you're interested in things like this, um, please keep watching. So I'm going to heat up the pot with some water. I used hot water, so it makes it more quicker. And then um, I've got a egg cup. So we're going to um, put a little bit of oil in it just to grease it around. So it's easier to take the egg out of it and then an egg. So crack the egg, put it in the egg cup. That's it. And then gonna put it in the pot. Of course, put some salt. And then put it in the pot and then put the lid on. So you're gonna let that boil on medium low heat. Depending on one pot you're using, I'm using Salad Master. And by the way, it's not sponsored. It's just easy and healthy cooking with Salad Master. All right, so here we're gonna be checking if um, how our eggs went. So I put it down to low and I'm just gonna um, test that in the movement. And drain a little bit of the oil and water out of it. So I think I was happy with that one. That's why I took it out. So we're gonna take it out the cup. So I'm gonna slowly um, adjust the sides and put a, um, paper towel just to drain excessive water and oil on it and then put it on your plate or whatever way you want to put it on your plate put it on top of colors and ever then I am just emptied the water and put, used the pot again so I just put a little bit of avocado extra virgin avocado oil just to grease the whole pot and then we're gonna saute some white sliced mushrooms and we're gonna use some um, spinach so we're gonna make sure that the pot is on medium low heat mushroom is actually mushrooms are actually um, a water type of um, vegetable is it a vegetable yeah it's a vegetable i assume so even if you don't put water in it or you just put a little bit it will get really watery with the lid on so even if there's no oil or no water it will still produce water because it's a water based one so i'm just gonna saute that I think my mushrooms have been cooked here, so let's add some um, spinach and just um, mix it all together. The spinach will cook really quick, so basically that's on already. I'm going to put that to low, I'm pretty sure I put it on low or not. No, I didn't put it on low. Anyway, you should put it down on low, even if you don't put it heat on, it will still cook the spinach because the pot itself is really, really hot. So, um, yeah, just do it that way it would be easier. So you see, probably that's all dried up now. So just mix it together, turn the pot off, which I wrongly did. 
I should have turned it off. And then put it on your plate. Sometimes it would be too much water on it, depending on how you cooked it, but there it was really dry. So just scrape it all off and put it on your plate. You can add salt and pepper, whatever you had got at home and mix it. So here we're gonna toast some bread. So I've got white Vienna bread, which is ready um, sliced and avocado. So in one avocado, I get four slices. So I'm put them in quarters. So there's four quarters or one fourth in other parts of the world because um, in Australia you use the word quarter which means one fourth in other countries so we're gonna fan that as I always like to do we're gonna fan it that way and put it on our plate and we're gonna toast that so I don't know if it's under three or two and a half because I like always know you always know that I like my toast nice and crunchy all right, to add in the plate, I've got some kiwi here. So we're just going to slice um, the skin off, the hairy skin off. I just don't like it there for some reasons. But sometimes I actually just cut them straight when I feel a bit lazy. I just cut them through and just put it right on my plate. But there's something about the hairiness in it. So yeah, um, take that off. And then we're going to still do fanning off that one on the plate same as what we do with the avocado and then yeah put it on the plate design it whatever you like sideways whatever floating if you can do floating it's all your talent has to be just some way it still ends up in the tummy it's just about you do plating nice and clean representing uh, yeah so that one's broken so it goes in the mouth all right not happy with my toe so let's pop that back in all right let's add some chili flakes you probably know that by now that i love that in my breakfast if you've been watching my vlogs you probably know by now that yes i use himalayan salt it has good health benefits the same as my chili flakes just helps bowel movement and um we're just waiting for yep toast is done so i like it that way really toasted so that's nice and crunchy when you bite it all right it's time to break the egg if it's runny yes that's what we want that's all I want, runny egg. If it's not a runny egg, then my day will start mad. So I'll be pissed the whole day just because of an egg. I know, small things, but makes big difference to me. You guys might notice that my voice is not really that very happy me. Yes, it's because I'm not feeling well doing this over. I'm just trying to get this through so I can put the vlog up. So yeah, um, flu is going on around the community at the moment, which affects everybody. I'm just getting a little bit of um, croakiness and tiredness so hopefully it's not a flu fingers crossed because i don't want to pass it on to the residents and to my kids so yeah that's what's going on if you notice that i keep on squinting yes i don't have contact lenses on that day i don't have glasses on so i can't see what's on tv the tv might be close but i just can't see yeah, I'm totally, I'm blind, I'm deaf and everything else follows. So yeah, that's why it's either I put my eye open wider or I squint so I can see things properly, especially if it's little words or it's small people. I just want to make sure I'm seeing right. So if you see me anywhere and I snobbed you or whatever, well, probably because I didn't see you. If I don't see you, then... 
I probably don't have any glasses on. Please say hi if you know me because I don't know. Probably I don't know you, whoever you are, unless you're my batch mate or we went to school together or you're from my hometown. I probably might know you or you're from my work or we met somewhere before. Anything in general because sometimes if I can be blind, I can be forgetful as well especially if I only saw you for a few times but in general yes I am deaf and I am blind and I am forgetful so I do apologize if you see me around and you think I snob please don't assume that I saw you because I cannot see So that's the end of our vlog today guys thank you for watching if you do like this type of vlog please give a thumbs up make some comments down below and don't forget to follow me on instagram diazipamilicious and please subscribe thank you for watching bye